Title, Heartstrings Unraveled. The autumn leaves crunched underfoot as Taylor Swift strolled through Central Park, the crisp air biting at her cheeks. Despite the vibrant colors surrounding her, her heart felt a heavy shade of gray. News had broken earlier that day. Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend of several months, was reportedly engaged to someone else, a revelation that sent shockwaves through the media and shattered her fragile sense of security. Their relationship had felt like a whirlwind, full of laughter, late-night talks, and shared dreams. Travis had swept her off her feet with his charm and infectious energy, but now, those memories felt tainted, as if painted over with a dull brush. Taylor had learned to navigate the tumultuous waters of fame and love, but this was a wave she hadn't seen coming. She found a bench and sat down, trying to process the whirlwind of emotions that consumed her. Thoughts raced through her mind, how had things changed so quickly? Had all those sweet moments been nothing more than a fleeting fantasy? As she reflected on their time together, the joyful memories turned bittersweet, each one a reminder of what she had lost. Her phone buzzed in her pocket, jolting her back to reality. It was a text from her friend, prompting her to watch the news. Hesitant but unable to resist, she clicked on a video of Travis smiling broadly at a press conference, announcing his engagement. He spoke about love and commitment with such passion that it felt like a knife twisting in her gut. With each word he spoke, Taylor felt herself fading. The world saw a confident athlete making grand statements about his future, but all she could see was the man she thought she knew. Memories of late-night drives and shared secrets clashed violently with the image of him donning an engagement ring for someone else. Tears welled in her eyes as she fought to comprehend the betrayal, not just of their relationship, but of her own heart. The world outside blurred as she sank deeper into her thoughts. What had gone wrong? Had he ever truly cared for her, or was she simply a passing phase in his storied career? She closed her eyes and recalled their last night together, a night filled with passion and promise. He had whispered sweet nothings that felt so genuine, and now they echoed mockingly in her ears. As the wind picked up, sending a chill down her spine, she pulled her scarf tighter around her neck, as if trying to shield herself from the emotional storm raging within. She needed to make sense of it all. In a moment of desperation, she reached for her phone and opened her notes app. Words poured out of her as she began to write, her emotions spilling onto the screen. Each line became a cathartic release, a way to transform her pain into something tangible. She wrote about heartache, betrayal, and the bittersweet taste of love lost. The words flowed like a melody, and soon, she found herself lost in the rhythm of her own heart. Why is it always the ones who seem so perfect that break us the hardest? She wrote, we build them up in our minds, only to watch them crumble in front of us. Time seemed to stand still as she continued to write. The world around her faded away, and in that moment, she found solace in her art. When the sun began to dip below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of orange and purple, she finally felt a glimmer of hope. Writing had always been her refuge, a place where she could transform heartbreak into art. Title, When the Music Fades. In the heart of New York City, Taylor Swift found herself wandering through the vibrant streets, her mind a whirlpool of emotions. She had always been a master of masking her feelings with lyrics and melodies, but today, the weight of heartbreak felt heavier than ever. It was a crisp autumn afternoon when the news broke. Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend, had made headlines for a controversial engagement update. They had shared a connection that seemed to bloom under the spotlight, and Taylor had hoped it would last. But the world was unforgiving, and rumors began to swirl, fueled by tabloids and social media. The couple had enjoyed fleeting moments of bliss, their laughter echoing through hotel rooms and quiet dinners. But now, it felt like their world was unraveling. Taylor sat on the edge of her bed, surrounded by notebooks filled with unfinished songs, her fingers tracing the edges of the pages, searching for inspiration. As she scrolled through her phone, the notifications flooded in, fans expressing their outrage, speculating about the authenticity of their relationship, questioning Travis's commitment. Taylor's heart ached with each new message. It wasn't just the rumors that hurt, it was the realization that she was part of a narrative that felt beyond her control. Why can't people just let us be? She whispered to herself, tears welling in her eyes. She picked up her guitar, letting the familiar wood rest against her chest as if it could shield her from the chaos outside. Strumming softly, she poured her emotions into a song, a cathartic release that allowed her to confront the pain. 
The notes danced through the air, filling the room with a bittersweet melody that echoed her heartache. Days passed, and the pressure grew heavier. Taylor tried to reach Travis, but he was consumed by the media storm. Their phone calls felt strained, each word laced with unspoken tension. She could sense the distance growing, the laughter they shared fading into memories. One evening, Taylor received an invitation to a charity event where Travis was expected to appear. She contemplated skipping it, not wanting to face the world or the whispers that would undoubtedly follow. But something deep inside urged her to go, perhaps it was the hope of seeing him, to remind herself of the man she fell for beyond the headlines. As she entered the venue, the atmosphere was electric. Celebrities mingled, laughter echoed, and the cameras flashed. Taylor spotted Travis across the room, his charismatic smile still intact, but she could see the stress etched on his features. He looked up, and their eyes met, a moment suspended in time. Taylor, he said softly as he approached, his voice barely above a whisper. Travis, she replied, trying to maintain her composure. They stood face to face, the world around them blurring into the background. I'm sorry about everything, he began, his eyes searching hers. I never meant for it to get this out of hand. She felt the weight of his words, but the hurt lingered. It's not just the rumors, Travis. It's the way it makes me feel like I'm part of a story that's not ours. It's hard to stay strong when it feels like the world is against us. He reached out, taking her hand, grounding her in the moment. We can get through this. I don't want to lose what we have because of noise. Taylor wanted to believe him, to trust in their bond. But the fear of vulnerability loomed over her like a dark cloud. I don't know if I can handle it. The scrutiny, the doubt, it's exhausting. Travis nodded, understanding etched on his face. Let's take it one step at a time. Just promise me we'll communicate, no matter what. Title. Shattered Strings. Taylor Swift sat alone in her spacious Nashville home, the walls echoing with a heavy silence. Her phone lay on the table, its once frequent buzzing now eerily absent. The news had broken only hours ago, but it felt like time had stretched into an eternity since. Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend, and the man who had swept her off her feet with his playful charm and quiet strength, had just blindsided her with a public announcement, a controversial engagement update that shattered the fragile foundation they had built. It started like any other day. Taylor had been working on new music, her fingers dancing across the piano keys, when her phone lit up with an avalanche of notifications. At first, she dismissed it, thinking it was just the usual buzz around her songs. But when she saw the headline, her heart stopped cold. Travis Kelsey's surprise engagement announcement stuns fans, no mention of Taylor Swift. The words blurred as tears stung her eyes. Engagement. They had talked about their future, but not like this. Not so suddenly, and certainly not without her. Her hands trembled as she clicked on the article, hoping it was some kind of misunderstanding. But there it was, a photo of Travis smiling awkwardly beside another woman, the headline screaming betrayal. Taylor had been through public heartache before, but this was different. Travis had been her safe space, the one person who saw her beyond the lights and the fame. Their relationship had been passionate but low-key, a delicate balance she thought they both cherished. She had started to believe that, after all the ups and downs, she had finally found someone who understood her. Her phone rang. It was her best friend, Abigail, but Taylor couldn't bring herself to answer. What could she even say? That she had been blindsided like the rest of the world. That she was too hurt, too angry, too confused to understand how everything had gone so wrong. The tears came harder now, hot and fast. How could he do this? Why didn't he tell her? Taylor thought back to their last conversation, only two days ago, where everything had seemed so normal. They had laughed, talked about their next getaway, and he had even hinted at wanting to meet her family again soon. Her thoughts spiraled as she scrolled through the endless comments. Some were sympathetic, but others were harsh, fans speculating whether Taylor had pushed him away, if her fame had been too much for him, or if he had been secretly unhappy all along. Her emotions tumbled over one another, sadness, anger, confusion. But most of all, she felt a deep sense of betrayal. She thought Travis had been different, someone who wasn't intimidated by her success or her past. Yet here he was, making headlines with someone else, moving on without her in the cruelest way possible. The worst part was the public spectacle of it all. 
Taylor had always been open with her fans about her heartache, channeling it into music that resonated with millions. But this, this felt too raw, too personal. She didn't know if she could bear to let the world see her like this. A new text popped up on her screen. It was from Travis. The message was brief, cold. I'm sorry you found out like this. Taylor stared at the screen, her heart breaking all over again. That was it. After everything they'd shared, all she got was a curt apology. She didn't even have the energy to respond. What was there to say? She had already lost him, lost the man she thought she knew. Her mind wandered to the song she had been writing earlier that day. It was supposed to be about hope, about finding someone who made her believe in love again. But now, the lyrics seemed hollow. She reached for her guitar, the one constant that had always helped her through her darkest times. Thank you. 